Tower 1 is finally finished, but with this job barely back on schedule, the mountain throws them a giant obstacle. Seven meters of snow is too deep to plow, so the snowcats ramp it up into layers for bulldozers to clear. And still, the excavators have to chip a 15-centimeter layer of ice off the frozen road. But it seems like the battle will never end. This spring's record-breaking snowpack is melting into the plowed road, turning it into treacherous mud. With no way to get to Tower 4, trucks dump gravel onto plastic sheets in a last-ditch attempt to get Hans and his crane in position. Backhoes follow, spreading it out. But the clock's ticking. To keep on schedule, fully loaded trucks and multi-ton cranes need to get up that road, ready or not. Chuck Melikar and Ashi Gerber talk it over. Uh, we've got to take a look at it now, no snow, and see if ponds can really get in there. Yeah, yeah. Driving his 80-ton crane where others fear to go is what has made Hans Burkhardt a legend in the industry. Thanks to him, tower construction doesn't have to stop. He goes there because he knows exactly as well as we do, job has to be done. He's not afraid of that. I'm sure if you would take just a crane operator from the road, basically, he never would go down to Tower 3 or to Tower 4. And not, don't even bother to mention Tower 5. At Tower 3, it's easy to see why. Running a crane here means lifting multi-ton loads on the edge of a precipice. If a load's too heavy and tips the crane over, there's nowhere to go but down. In this kind of construction, we do see problems, and it's something that we try to plan to stay out of. At first, the lifting goes well. But then, Hans and his mega crane meet their match the steel beam that carries the entire weight of the cable along the top of the tower. It's called a saddle, and it weighs 5,000 kilograms. He's taking this heavy load and swinging it way out. He's, he's probably going to be close to maximized as far as the, the capacity on the crane. If Hans swings his heavy load too far out to the side, the entire crane could tip over taking Hans and everything else with it. Three times Hans tries to pick up the saddle, and three times he has to put it down. And when I picked up the saddle, I know that I am really maxed out. That much out of level is critical. About the right, because when he lets down, then he gets on the crane such a pull, that's not good. So I can't move down anymore. I turn the crane over if I keep moving down. You got five and a half tons. If you take a half a ton off, that would help big time. And I made him take off a bunch of more weight, take the wheels off. I'm going to re-stabilize that outrigger. If I put more wood in there, I can push the outrigger down and I can get it level. Then we were able to put it up. One piece at a time, the saddle finally goes up, and the crane doesn't fall off the mountain. The tower builders win this battle, but nature's winning the war.